wore a tattoo on his shifting hand of a mean-faced bulldog, and that was his brand. But before the days of Constable Bird, I don't reckon that anybody'd even heard of Bulldog Mac. Bulldog Mac. He was just a driver, same as the other guys, and nothing about him yet praise to the skies. That is till this constable started acting big, and from then on, seems like everyone knew the rig of Bulldog Mac. Bulldog Mac. Constable Bird was one of those boys that liked to strut around and make a big noise. So you'd notice he was wearing a gun, and to him giving speeding tickets was fun. He was running a speed trap at the edge of this town in a place where it was kind of hard to slow down. Especially for truckers wanting to make time and wasn't hardly a driver he hadn't find. Well, the trucking company put in a beef for the higher-ups, but they got no relief. The state told them they just couldn't butt in on the local police and that got under the skin of Bulldog Mac. The drivers got together at different truck stops trying to figure what to do as mad as hops. But they were just spinning their wheels in the sand and getting nowhere till one struck a plan that was Bulldog Mac. Bulldog Mac. Back in the bushes where he couldn't be seen, old Constable Bird watched his radar screen. Pretty soon a semi passed with a roar. Bird cranked up and put the gas to the floor. He turned on his siren and his big red light and glanced in the mirror to see if his hat was all right. He got to the place where he usually made the kill and the truck speeded up and on down the hill. Constable Bird flushed red in the face and said he gads if that clown wants a race. I'll give it to him, grinned his movie star grin. Didn't notice behind and closing in was Bulldog Mac. All of a sudden, the trucking front braked and Bird thought the driver had seen his mistake. So he turned off his siren and chuckled low, and he heard it, diesels in stereo. He glanced in the mirror and felt a cold chill, for all he could see was the silver grill of a Big Mac truck so close behind he could read the revenge in that bulldog's mind. Well, his rear caved in when the Mac moved ahead as the truck in front just sort of stopped dead. The hood buckled up and antifreeze dropped through the windshield and onto Bird's knees. When the trucks pulled away, it took a lot of spunk for the constable sitting in that pile of junk where he'd been so close to the promised land the smile and wave back at that tattooed hand. But he did for it sort of come of age. In those few seconds, it was the final page. In the story of Constable Bird's speed trap, he knew he'd been wrong, so he tipped his hat to Bulldog Man. Bulldog Man.